Welcome to another video. Welcome to what's probably going to be a vlog because I am quite sleepy this week, quite low energy after Christmas and New Year's. I'm just gonna see where this video goes. We're gonna do some painting. I think today I might just do like a master study in gouache. I've already done a little filming, so there was a bit of a plein air session that we did on New Year's Day. So it looks like this. I don't think the composition is great. I think this tree is kind of going way too off to this side. It needs another branch going this way, like a thick branch maybe. And the colors aren't really how I wanted them to turn out, but I definitely learned a lot from it and it was really fun. Like it was really, really fun painting on plein air. So you'll see a bit of footage of this one. I thought we'd start with a little art supply haul. I picked up a few things. I picked up some new paint brushes. So I picked up these two. This one here is a Roy Mac, or oh, it's actually, sorry, it used to be Roy Mac, but now they're Micador. Uh, Revolution Taclon no, half inch filbert brush. This is for gouache. And then I got this little Raphael number four flat brush. These are imitation Kalinske, so they're certified vegan which is pretty cool so cruelty free and I found I think this brush was about 20 Australian dollars so it's quite expensive for such a small brush but it's worth it like honestly it's been such a pleasure to paint with so you'll see a little bit of that in this video I also got eight little watercolor half pans um, to put in my plain air painting kit so now I can kind of expand on my color palette when I'm out painting. I also got two new tubes of gouache paint. So just white and ultramarine blue by Art Spectrum. These are really affordable but well-made Australian artists grade brand. I also got two wooden panels. So these are 11 by 14 inches and I'm going to use these for my oil painting. I wanted to get a nice surface to kind of inspire me to paint but also something that wasn't so big that it would take me weeks and weeks to finish. And they were $15 each Australian, which is pretty good. I also got something that I've been wanting for years, and this is an oil paint brush washer. So basically, inside there's a grate that's suspended from the top. So when you fill this up with your solvent, and then you wash your brush in it, the pigment will drop underneath the grate and the solvent above the grate will stay clean. So you can keep using the same solvent and eventually pour out the clean solvent that's at the top, get rid of the yucky stuff and then reuse what you already had in there, which was really good. I think that was about $40 Australian, which was a lot, but I bought it with a voucher, so technically it was free. And my parents got me two new art books. So this one is by Nathan Fox. And sorry, there's probably a bit of glare because it's shiny, but it is how to paint landscapes quickly and beautifully in gouache and watercolor. It is really handy and really pretty book. So I haven't actually read much of it yet, but I've actually done a couple of, I've done one master study from it. The icing on top of the Christmas cake. The best book in the world. So Edgar Payne is a really incredible uh, American landscape artist and just this, this book just speaks for itself but I think this is what we're gonna do a master study from today maybe if I can pull it off so very exciting I think those are all of the things that I bought and was given for Christmas I did also get actually this is probably the icing on top of the Christmas cake are you ready I got myself a pochard box with my Christmas bonus from work and I've used it once and it was amazing. It's not an expensive one but I've never had one before so I didn't want to spend too much on it straight away. Um, I haven't got the tripod for it yet, so I need to get a strong tripod so I just used it on the ground like on a picnic rug and it worked fine so this is my new baby. And now I think I have shown you all the things. Let's get into some painting.
Hello, we are back in the studio. This painting has parts that are quite successful and parts that I'm really not feeling. So I've got a reference picture and I've got my paints here. I haven't cleaned this palette from my plein air painting adventure today, so I need to give that a clean. Thank you. 